This app is used to define the chocolate's contraction process when put through a specific cooling profile, or in other words, to find out the most efficient cooling profile for the chocolate. To execute a line simulation test, a log of the chocolate's temperature in the cooling tunnel must be made using a data logger. The results from the logger are used to create the simulated line in the settings based on the temperatures and time the chocolate has been exposed to during the cooling process. Please note that the temperature set in the settings is the cooling temperature of the cell and not for the chocolate. It is therefore important to set the temperature lower than desired to make sure that the chocolate is cooled to the right temperature. Settings also include naming the recipe to find it on the main page and the outlet temperature from the tempering machine. Above the graph, the ID for the chocolate can be chosen. This is used as a name tag for the chocolate or the line used for the test to keep track of where sample originates. When everything is set and ready, follow the instructions for app activation and filling the cup. When the test is done, the result table will appear where the temperature and pressure change throughout the test will be shown. When looking at the graph, the attention is paid to the yellow graph, which shows the change in contraction according to the ideal gas equation in percentage. This means that if the chocolate contraction follows equation's expected values, the yellow graph will not make fluctuations. The way to read the results is by marking the start and the end of the fluctuating interval of the graph. These points provide the basis for the times at which the chocolate can be exposed to certain temperatures. Before the first point, the chocolate doesn't make any crystalline contraction. At this stage, the chocolate should be cooled slowly to ensure that the chocolate is kept liquid until the crystallization phase. Between start and the ending point is where the crystalline contraction in the chocolate happens. This is where the hard cooling of the chocolate takes place. When the yellow graph stops fluctuating and steadies, this means the chocolate has finished its crystalline contraction. By this point, there is no need for further cooling and the temperature is raised to the desired final temperature for the product. Make these alterations in settings and start a new test. By continuing to calibrate the settings by this guideline, you will eventually get the ideal cooling profile for the selected product.